We're at 6,500 feet in our Cessna in beautiful VFR conditions, flying inbound at Chico Municipal Airport in California, a tower-controlled Class Delta airport. Since Chico is in Class D airspace, we'll need to establish two-way radio communication with the tower prior to entering. Before we do that, though, we want to get all our ducks in a row and do a comprehensive arrival brief. A good VFR arrival brief should start far enough out from the airport to give you time to get everything set up. We're just over 20 miles from Chico, which is a great time to start our brief. Here's a simple acronym we can use to organize the elements of the brief. W-I-R-E, WIRE. It stands for Weather, Instruments, Radios, and Entry Brief. Let's begin with the weather. We'll find the ATIS frequency for Chico on the sectional chart, 119.67. We'll load that into our COM2. Why COM2? Because we want to keep whatever frequencies we plan to communicate on up on COM1 and then simultaneously listen to the ATIS on COM2. We'll flip that frequency to active and turn our COM2 to receive on the audio panel. We should be ready to note down the information we receive on the ATIS including the letter identifier. Chico Municipal Airport, information Foxtrot, 1753 Zulu, observation. Winds 14010, visibility better than 5 miles, sky clear below 12000, temperature 07, dew point 02, altimeter 2992. Visual approaches in use, landing and departing runway 13 left. All aircraft read back hold short instructions and IFR altitude assignments. Advise on initial contact, you have information Foxtrot. So we have information Foxtrot. This is the letter identifier that will let the controller know we have the latest weather. If we tell the controller that we have information Foxtrot, but they've updated the recording to information Golf, the next letter, we'll need to listen to the new ATIS. Okay, so let's move to our next step in the wire brief, I for instruments. This depends a little on what your setup is in the cockpit, but we can scan left to right, top to bottom to ensure our instruments are set up. The ASI and attitude indicator don't need any action. We should make sure our altimeter is set to the reported 2992 at Chico from the ATIS. The turn coordinator is fine. We should make sure the directional gyro is matched to the magnetic compass now that we're in straight and level flight, and the VSI is fine. Next is R for radios. Let's set up all our radio frequencies for our arrival into Chico. The tower frequency is on the sectional chart, 121.0. Let's set that up in our COM1 and switch it to active. We're now able to transmit and receive on the tower frequency. The ground frequency is on the taxiway diagram, and it's 121.9. We can set that up on COM2 and switch it to active. You can use COM1 and COM2 a bit differently than this if you like. For example, putting ground on COM1 and keeping ATIS active on COM2, it's all a matter of personal preference or what your avionics will allow you to get away with. Next on wire is E, entry brief, maybe the most important element of our brief. This is where we're going to brief when to start our descent, which runway we expect to be assigned by tower and how we would enter the pattern, where we plan to exit the runway, and how we'll taxi to our parking spot. First, let's think about when to start our descent. We're at 6,500 feet, and we'd like to arrive at pattern altitude a few miles prior to reaching the airport. First, what is pattern altitude? Field elevation is 240, so adding 1,000 of that gives us a pattern altitude of 1,200 feet. We can confirm that there's no non-standard pattern altitude if we glance at the chart supplement page. So from 6,500 feet to 1,200 feet, we need to lose just over 5,000 feet. A good rule of thumb is to take the descent in thousands, in this case five, and multiply by three to get 15 miles out where we should start a descent. You may have the ability to calculate this with your avionics, but this rule of thumb works. We have a tailwind, so let's add a mile to that for buffer and say we'll start the descent 16 miles out. Let's have a look to see if we can spot the field. It may not show up so well, but there it is, just to the left of the mountain baseline. At 16 miles out, we can reduce power and begin our descent. Now we can continue the entry brief. Let's use the taxiway diagram to think this part through. 
The winds are reported at 140 at 10, favoring runways 13 left and right. And in fact, the ATIS reported 13 left as the active runway. Let's visualize our entry by taking the taxiway diagram and overlaying it on the directional gyro, showing our current heading. And you can actually do this in the cockpit. Take the arrow pointing magnetic north and point it the same direction due north is showing on the heading indicator. Now hold the taxiway diagram up in front of you. This is the orientation the airport will look to us as we approach. Given this viewpoint, what would be our most likely pattern entry instruction for 13 left? It would be most convenient for us to fly just east of the field and enter a left downwind for 13 left. It's too easy to get confused about runway directions, so it's a great idea to do this same exercise a different way. Look again at the directional gyro, and you can use your hand, or in this case an arrow, to point the direction runway 13 left is facing. Now point us straight ahead on our 330 heading. You can use your other hand for this and draw a mental picture of us entering a left downwind for 13 left. We'll also look at the taxiway diagram for our parking area. We want to go to Northgate Aviation at the South Hangars. We'll expect to exit left on Golf or Foxtrot after landing. Okay, so we've completed our wire brief and still left ourselves plenty of time to take a breath and think about how we want to contact Tower. We'll use the format, who are we talking to, who are we, where are we, and what do we want. We're talking to Chico Tower. We're Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango. We're about 10 miles to the southeast of the field. Again, reference the directional gyro for this. And we're inbound to land with information Foxtrot. So here we go. Chico Tower, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango is 10 miles southeast, descending through 5000, inbound to land with information Foxtrot. Tower will come back with our pattern entry instructions, which we've already briefed. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, Chico Tower, Enter a left downwind, runway 13 left. We'll then read that back. Enter a left downwind, runway 13 left, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango. By doing this wire brief, we're so far ahead of the airplane that executing the tower controller's instructions is almost automatic. We just need to continue our descent, making adjustments as necessary to arrive at pattern altitude of 1,200 feet shortly before reaching the airport. As we enter downwind, we may be asked to report our position at midfield or the tower can issue our next instruction. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, the wind's 14010, runway 13 left, cleared to land. And we read this back, runway 13 left, cleared to land, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango. From here, it's just a basic traffic pattern. We'll configure for the approach a beam the numbers downwind and make our turns on to final. There's no need to make base or final radio calls as we would at a non-towered field since we're already cleared to land. After touching down, we may be instructed to exit the runway at a certain point. Without any instruction, we can exit at a convenient taxiway. We should have our taxiway diagram handy at this point. Tower will hand us off by saying, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, turn left at Foxtrot and contact ground 121.9er. We read that back. Left on Foxtrot, contact ground 121.9. Sometimes the controller will abbreviate this as .9er, which means 121.9. Make sure we only switch over to ground after crossing the runway boundary marking. We have ground frequency on our COM2, so we'll switch the audio panel to transmit and receive on COM2 and make contact. Again, who are we talking to? Who are we? Where are we? What do we want? We're talking to Chico Ground. We're Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango. We just exited runway 13 left on Foxtrot, and we want to go to Northgate Aviation, the FBO. Chico Ground, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, off runway 13 left at Foxtrot, taxi to Northgate. Let's be ready to copy down our taxi instructions. Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango, Chico Ground, taxi to Northgate via Foxtrot Alpha Echo. We read that back, taxi to Northgate via Foxtrot Alpha Echo, Cessna 518 Foxtrot Tango. Okay, Foxtrot, where we are now, then a right on Alpha, then a left on Echo into parking. Let's keep our taxiway diagram up as we make each turn. 
and this is the full briefing entry to it landing at a tower-controlled Class Delta airport.